so in today's lecture we will learn about what is standard what is code and difference between them so this is the continuation part of module number 1 let us start with standard standard can be defined as a set of technical definitions and guidelines or simply a how to instruction for designer and manufacturer it gives all the necessary requirements for the product service and operation a designer will use the standard to design the product and a manufacturer will use standard for the manufacturing of the product a standard so a common language for defining quality and establishing safety criteria for the product astm or iso so these are the some of the examples of the standards so astm means american society for testing and materials so some of these standards and full form so we'll be seeing in the further lecture so here astm has more than 12000 standards so they cover almost everything if you visit uh, their astm website so they also say that they have a standard for even from small toys to even up to aircraft they, ha they have all set of standards now why this standard is required let's take an example of mobile phone charger if you are in usa and traveling to india you need an adapter to use the power charger as both the country follows the different standard for the power sockets so both the country standard will be different for power sockets but your usb cable will work anywhere in the world because it is manufactured as per globally accepted standard so in the case of the process industry that is piping components are sourced from all around the world because we want all these materials irrespective of their country of origin should fit perfectly with each other at the site this standard helps to achieve this by establishing common engineering or technical requirements for product practice method or operation that manufacturer has to follow while manufacturing piping components some other benefits are also there such as standard built confidence about product quality in the user and with standardization cost of production will reduce as you can produce in the bulk for the global market is that clear so we have seen the meaning and use of the standard so these are the some of the standards which i mentioned here although there are many standards so depending on the particular application and requirement we are going for different standards so here first one asme that is american society for mechanical engineers astm american society for testing and materials AISC American Institute of Steel Construction and CANSI American National Standard Institute and ISO International Organization for Standardization so these are few of the standards so you are already aware of this uh, machine design data and book compulsorily we are going to refer this in this same for dme1 and in the next same for dme2 so in this data and book also 
there are many standards and codes have been given depending on the particular material and particular component and particular application so once we have data and book with you so that once again we'll go through that so what are the different standards are there in this data and book okay now next let us learn about the code when a governmental bodies add up the standard and become legally enforceable or when a standard has been incorporated into a business contract then the standard will become a code for example ASME codes are legally enforceable in many US states whereas in the other part of the world they are not legally enforceable but such countries have their own similar codes okay now please note that the requirement mentioned in the code will only be mandatory requirements if code is adopted as a law by regulatory body or it is a part of business contract otherwise code will show as a generally accepted guidelines for design fabrication construction and installation however almost all process facility follows various american codes and standards in addition to national standards example of codes are asme boiler and pressure vessel codes british standard codes german standard etc now next why code is required because code provides a set of rule that specify the minimum acceptable level of safety and quality for manufactured fabricated or constructed goods okay see in this picture you can notice there are various application have been shown there are few nut and bolt screw threaded parts oil and gas tanks some plumbing application some pipes some design of some crane and hook so there are many application has been shown now when you going for designing and manufacturing of these things for each thing you are going for different standard or different codes because the set of instructions or guidelines has been given in that standard manual in a different way for different applications so when you go for different different parts or applications you are going for particular standard okay now till now i told uh, if there are different different applications then you are going for different different standards and many what many industries have to follow the particular set of standards but really they are using the standards they are referring to it so for that one random assembly drawing i took so will not much bother about what type of drawing and where it is used i just took this random drawing to show you they are using the set of standards for the manufacturing of the products so here you can notice uh, the highlighted part which i have shown so for hexa bolt for steel and mild mild steel material so they are referring to this ansi standard a n s i what is that a n s i already seen this american national standard institute so for this set of materials and for this part they are referring to this set of guidelines that is standard a n s i in that particularly they are going for this m10 1.520 so what is this m10 
so 10 is a diameter that is a nominal diameter 1.5 is a pitch length and 20 is the length of this hexa hold okay so this is the proof that the all the industries are referring to different set of standards depending on the particular component and particular material and particular application so this is regarding the standards and codes thank you